Hello everyone, this is Mr. Eman So. Today I would like to talk about the HKDSE sample paper, Mathematics Compulsory, Paper 1, Question 12 from Session A2. Please read uh, the following message, as this is the foundation of the whole series of this video. If you have, if you don't have enough time, please pause this video. Otherwise, we go to the question twelve. For twelve A, it is asking uh, which part of the journey has the highest speed. Or oh, no, sorry, has the lowest speed. So let's see how I tackle this problem. In the graph. Uh, the slope of three lines represent the speed of the three corresponding paths. In a given time, the slipper slope means more distance traveled, so the speed is faster. In the same given time, the flat slope means less distance traveled, so the speed is lower. So I conclude here: the speed of first part is the lowest, as his slope is the fastest. So you may ask, Mr. So, uh, how can we watch so many things, so many words, uh, for just two marks? Or oh, in fact, you only need to, uh, write down the last sentence, the ones that I'm pointing at, and this is enough for you. The first three nine is just explanation for you. Okay, this is the end of part A. Now we come to part B. Okay, it's given the speed. Is this possible to given uh, to find out the time so that we know that guy uh, arrives C at what time? I have no doubt that you have already known the relationships among speed, distance, and time. And now we have speed. Do we have distance in order to find the time? Yes, of course we have. The distance between two points, point B and point C, is 18 minus 4, that is 14 kilometers. And now we have distance 2, so we can find out the time very easily. I just uh, set T as the time, and then I put uh, the speed, distance, and T into the speed equation. And then I find out the time. Because it is in hour, for the speed is counting in hour and kilometers, so the time is in hour at the distance is kilometers. We have to turn it back to minutes so that we can tell the time. For one hour, we have 60 minutes. For one fourth hour, we have 15 minutes. Remember to conclude your questions. 15 plus 11, that is 26, so John arrives C as 8.26. And now we go to the last part. It is asking the average speed. Average speed means we don't care whether the speed has changed during the journey. We just care the total time and the total distance. The total time is half an hour and the total distance is 24 kilometers so we use the 27 kilometers however as you can see in the in the questions uh, the unit must be minute per second so we have to convert 27 kilometers into meters and 30 minutes into seconds, as I have shown to you. We replace kilometers by uh, 1,000 meters, and we replace one minute by 60 seconds. Hold on, hold on, there is a typo. Oh, this is not nice to have typo all the time. Okay.
Yes. So it's n of 50, but remember the unit. This is the end of this video. You are welcome to send me email to talk about mathematics. Thank you and goodbye.